finish on the boat on Tuesday and since then I've been working on rigging um, and today I'm going to do the end pours or at least try it and I'll explain that in a minute but let me just show you where we are so far. I have uh, completed the uh, hatch covers with uh, all the strapping. I've got the uh, back bungees in place. Um, hardest thing was figuring out how to get one on each side as well as front and back uh, and have it look look fairly neat. Uh, and you need those there so that when you if you're going to slip a paddle under here to do a paddle float you've got something really solid to hold it. Um, I have my seat back in. I have the seat down on the floor. I have the uh, foot pedals and rails in. Front bungees are in. The holder for the uh, uh, deck rigging, that's the uh, deck straps are in. Front hatch is taken care of. And so today I'll be doing the end pours to put a, a glass plug in here and one in the stern so that I can drill a hole through, finish the deck rigging, and put a handle on each end, a carry handle. That's what I'll be doing today. Now one of the things that they they tell you to do um, or ask you to, to say it's a good idea is uh, is to cool the bow uh, as you're um, uh, pouring the uh, fiberglass plug into the into the bow. The, only, the way you do this is to stand the kayak on end, stand, stand it on its nose, stand it on its stern, hold it there, pour the fiberglass down into the bow or the stern and then let it um, cure. The issue is that when you're pouring four and a half ounces of fiberglass into a contained space like that, it generates a lot of heat. So they want you to cool it. Um, and I guess the way I'm going to do that is by setting the um, the bow in this bucket. When I get it outside and up against the tree, it's going to be. And I'm going to put this uh, over the bow, and then I'm going to fill it with water and maybe some ice so that it keeps the bow cool. Um, they suggested digging a hole in the ground and putting the bow in the hole and filling the hole with water. I just don't want to do that for a couple of reasons, but mainly because here in Florida any water you pour into the ground disappears in a hurry. So, um, we'll be doing that. Well, now I'm doing the end pour. Uh, my neighbor came by and helped me move the boat out here and put it up against my palm tree. I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, I put a bucket underneath the bow and I've uh, filled it with water and ice and uh, poured uh, six ounces of uh, epoxy mixed with uh, wood fiber, um, wood powder, uh, into the bow. Uh, this, is, this is what it looks like. It's pretty weird looking. There it is up against the tree. Biggest tree in my yard, tallest tree. Um, and uh, I was able to use the lower hatch and pour into the lower hatch. So, and here's the bucket with the ice. I just happened to have the braces on the tree still. It's only been in a few months. Um, so, that's that was helpful. It provided a, cr a cradle to, to hold the boat. Now we'll see what happens when I have to turn it over if my neighbor's not. <laughs> <laughs> 